the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I pray, may the grace and the peace of God our Father, the joys, the fellowships of Jesus Christ, the presence of his Holy Spirit be now with you. And with your spirit. In a special way, I welcome the family of the Immaculate Conception as we gather to celebrate God's loving presence in our life, the feast of the Ascension, the God who dwells in our midst and the God who is beyond us, the infinity of God and yet the immense presence of God. As we begin this sacred liturgy, let us pause, awaken to God's presence. You raise us to new life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You forgive us our sins, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins. May he bring you and me to everlasting life. Amen. Give glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. Your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest, glory to God, glory to God and on earth. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God and on earth is to be full of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God and on earth. Peace to people of Goodwill. Join your prayers with mine. Heavenly Father, gladden us with the holy joys. Make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. 
and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, the Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God while meeting with them. He enjoyed them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he has said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return into the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. A 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising from the dead and seating him at the right hand of the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way, the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. May the Lord be on your heart and your lips that you may worthily proclaim his gospel the Son of the Holy Spirit. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you O lord the 11 disciples went to galilee to the mountain to which jesus had ordered them when they saw him they worshiped but they doubted then jesus approached and said to them all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Theophilus, in the first book I wrote to you, I told you about the incarnational moment of the Christ, the fulfillment of the promise of the Mishnah. I told you about the life of Jesus, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and how he ate and broke bread with us after his death. Now let me tell you about the gift that he gave us when he returned to the Father, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you in another book how the Spirit came into our lives, transformed us, changed us, and helped us to see the world in a different way. The second book is the Acts of the Apostles. Filled with the Holy Spirit, they start to proclaim the risen Lord, and they move on and leave yesterday behind. The imagery that I invite you to reflect upon is when the communion of saints is filled with the Holy Spirit. We see the world totally different. We respond to it differently. We open ourselves up to receive God's presence, and then we walk in newness and freshness. The entirety of our faith experience comes to the reality to not see the world the way the world sees it, to not be disappointed when the world does not fulfill our needs, but to see the world through the eyes of the risen Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, and allowing ourselves to walk in his presence 
and experience it differently. From the moment of Abraham, when he was told to leave what he knew and understand, let go of the many gods, come into the desert, where in the nothingness you will experience my presence, the one who created you, the one who now gifts you promise. Let go of yesterday, let go of your what you know, and enter into the unknown with me, and let me reveal something totally different. And from that moment, our whole faith experience is rooted in surprise. The Immaculate Conception, that can't happen. That doesn't happen. God invades humanity and enters into humanity and transforms it. He begins anew. He begins afresh. And then Christmas, the virgin birth. That can't happen. That doesn't happen. Once again, God interrupts history, makes his presence known, and begins anew. And then the Christ who walks, who preaches, is crucified and everybody says he lost. He was defeated. Nobody, he didn't change anything. And then the Lord rises from the dead. No, that doesn't happen. That's not real. That's not going on. It's a ghost. And he ate with them, broke bread with them, shared salt with them. The imagery that what we don't expect, God invades and comes into our lives and transforms and says, now look at it differently. See it different. Let go of what you know, what you expect, and then walk with me into the unknown into the unexpected. See, our entire faith experience is resting on God surprising us, pulling out of us what we know and understand, and then saying, walk away. Walk with me in a new way. And yet, when we pray, we want to pray and go back to the old ways. Go back to what we know and un go back to when we're comfortable. Father, what's going on is not making me comfortable. And God takes us out of the comfortable and then invites us to walk with him into a crucified moment to rise with him and then to ascend to the Father. Not to maintain the ordinary, but to be able to touch the extraordinary, to be able to rise and ascend and see the world differently. From the moment of the ascension, the apostles were different. They were filled with the Holy Spirit, they left their nets behind, that which where they were comfortable. And then they became itinerant preachers. They proclaimed, they witnessed, they took on a whole new vision of life. My brothers and sisters, can we risk letting go of what we're familiar with? Can we risk letting go of what we're comfortable with? Can we risk and let go where we want to be? And let God invite us to a new moment, to a new vision, to a new understanding, to a new experience of what it means to be alive. In the ascension, God returns to God. In the ascension, the incarnational moment comes to completion. And then he fills us with the Holy Spirit so that we may recognize Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, so that we can recognize what we thought was important really isn't. And we can relax and let go and walk in strangeness, walk with the risen Lord who has ascended to the Father so that he could fill us with the Holy Spirit. Over the next couple of days, let us pray for the gift of the Spirit, the gift of Pentecost, the gift of being alive with the fire of God's love that invites us into a strange journey that lets go of yesterday, walks with today, and then rises and ascends with tomorrow.
with the gift of the Holy Spirit, we see God as a trinity. In our profession of faith, we proclaim that reality. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and of earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, Lord, to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, the Son, with the Father, the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. It is with confidence that we approach God's gentle love. We present to him our humble needs. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit emboldened us to bear a joyful witness to the saving power of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern, may Jesus' example of compassionate and just service inspire them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the oppressed, exploited, and voiceless, especially victims of human trafficking, May God comfort them and lead them out of their affliction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may our shared commitment to being witnesses of Christ's love inspire us to work together, pray for one another, and forgive one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, may they be uplifted by our prayers and know that the Lord will never abandon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, the members of the Stefano family, Martin Sassente, may they abide with Jesus in heaven forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In these moments when we feel the brokenness of our world, May we trust that God radically transforms it and invites us to be a people of hope and to walk in the future with that hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you may reign with us through your spirit. We ask you to continue to hear the prayers of your witnesses gathered here. Answer them according to your will. For we ask them through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, my Father, God of the universe, Father of love. In love you share so much, you give bread, fruit from your earth, work from our hands. Father, I pray it will be our bread. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to Blessed are you, my Father, God of the universe, Father of love and love, you share so much with you, my fruit from the mind, work from our hands. Father, I pray that we are spiritually goodness with a humble spirit, with a contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. May this our sacrifice be pleasing in your sight. Father, please wash my iniquities. Please cleanse me of my sins. Worthy priest to your people. To you, you lay down your life and died upon the cross. We 
my brothers, that this, our sacrifice, our lives, can be accepted by our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Father, we offer a sacrifice now in supplication to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up into heavenly realms, through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right, just. Our duty, our salvation. Always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world, Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of praise as our hearts cry out. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Father, we, the family of the Immaculate Conception, gather this day. For you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice can be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. Please allow them to become the body, the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mystery. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, the eternal covenant poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim that the Lord and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Heavenly as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy, this living sacrifice. Please now look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body, the blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. From Wetamanham, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. that God dwells in our midst, we pray. Our Father, Amen. who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Your thy kingdom come, come your will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day, day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. Lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from evil, Father and peace in our day. Your mercy keep us free from sin, protect our hearts from trouble, for we do wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you spoke to your apostles. He speaks to us. I leave you peace. My peace I gift you. Lord, please don't look on our sins. Look on the simpleness of our faith. Grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord be now with you. And with your spirit. As we share this moment in a communion of faith, let us pause, asking the Lord to fill the lonely hearts with the peace that only he can share.
Lord Jesus Christ, you are the Son of the living God. By the will of the Father, by the work of the Spirit, your death brought life in my world. By your holy body and blood, please free me from my sins, from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teachings. Do not let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be blessed. Join your prayers with mine. Join your prayers with mine. Heavenly Father, O loving God, who allow those on earth to celebrate, celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Join me in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Now join me with the bishops of the United States. Holy Virgin Queen of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels, Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother. Gain for our nation and the world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach us all in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come with you with confidence, knowing that you are truly our compassionate mother, health of the sick, cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us to know and love of your son, Jesus. Amen. A reminder, we're still in stage one, so the church is open. Uh, for private prayer. We haven't entered stage two yet where we can invite you to celebrate daily mass or stage three when the church will be open for Sunday liturgy. Uh, we'll keep you informed uh, as we continue the journey, uh, trusting that the Lord is walking with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads. May Almighty God bless you on this, the very day his only begotten Son pierced the heights of the heaven and unlocked for you a way to ascend to where he is. Amen. May he grant that the Christ after his resurrection was seen plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. May Almighty God bless us. May he always bless us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.